Hey everyone, MLive's Brendan Quinn here at Williams Arena in Minneapolis, Minnesota following Michigan State's wild overtime win over the Gophers here in a game uh, that really exemplified uh, what this team needs to do right now and that is um, find a way essentially in these early league games without Miles Bridges. Uh, while tonight's game was a win for Michigan State, clearly you can't just forget um, uh, some of the major, major struggles that this team went through. Uh, the first half tonight was one of the roughest all season long for the Spartans. Early in the second half, that the struggles continued um, at times, but things kind of came together once they started riding Nick Ward, um, getting some offensive tum tum there, and perhaps most importantly, finding some surprise contributions from Alvin Ellis. Uh, things kind of turned around. And look, Michigan and Michigan State and Minnesota were, were clearly evenly matched tonight, and I'm not sure who will be um, uh, favored uh, when Michigan State faces Northwestern on Friday back in East Lansing. But the, the fact of the matter is, is that Michigan State needs to piecemeal its way through some early season games and kind of find a way uh, when all else fails, find the hot hand and ride it. Be it Alvin Ellis, be it Aaron Harris, if he wakes up, be it uh, Cassius Winston or Nick Ward or whoever at this point. Um, Michigan State just does not have the balanced uh, arsenal that it can just ride through games right now. And uh, tonight showed it. No one really stepped up in the first half. Only Alvin Ellis um, had eight points. Nick Ward, I believe, had nine points. But otherwise, it was kind of a, a, a bare cover. So um, at, at, this, at this point, until Miles Bridges comes back, uh, this is what Michigan State looks like. Uh, it's not going to be pretty at times. Um, it might not be pretty after he gets back. But um, if, if Michigan State is going to find a way to get to 9, 10, 11 uh, or more wins in the league, it's going to have to be like this. Not pretty, but survive and move on. So we shall see uh, back in action on Friday in East Lansing. I'll be there, as always, to tell you all about it.